Give me my Moran rooster. And a hen. or French Black Copper Marins. Let's talk about them, guys. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to Harmon Homestead. Today, guys, we're going to talk about French Black Copper Marins. And I have one of my hens here. So many of you are getting these chicken ordering hatching catalogs and you're trying to decide what chickens that you want on your homestead farm or just your backyard flock. One of my favorite breeds are French Black Copper Marins. If you can see, I can't <laughs> let her go without her wanting to fly away. But this is one of our hens. She is two to three years old and she's a great hen. These are bigger chickens. So when you get French black copper Marins, they can be dual purpose. They're not exceptionally well egg layers, but they are pretty large bodied and they lay a beautiful brown egg. The eggs range on a color scale of one to 10. Usually these are in the five to eight range. All hens lay different colored eggs depending on their genetics. The eggs are sprayed with a coating, a bloom. When you crack the egg open on the inside, it will be white, the shell, and the outside is dark chocolate. So if you want a true pure chocolate laying chicken, you need a French black copper Moran. You can actually scrub off the bloom under warm running water. On your hand, it's like ink and it will come off. That's what these lay. These are great for the beautiful eggs. They're great chickens. They're black. They have some gold in their neck. If you can see hers there, just mahogany in the neck. The roosters have colored tail feathers and they'll usually have one white tail feather mixed in with all these black feathers off the tail. You my Moran rooster. They're beautiful, hardy chickens. And the great thing is they're black. So predators may not pick on them as much because they are darker in color like chicken hawks. They go after for something light, like a white leghorn instead of a dark chicken like a Moran because they think they may be crows. So, and animals of prey usually don't mess with crows. So that's a good thing about these chickens. The internet says that they lay about 200 eggs a year. I'm gonna say that's about accurate, if not ours a little bit more so. We free range ours, but they are large chickens. They're not as large as Wyandots, but they are large. So these are not small whatsoever. They're twice the size of a leghorn hen. So, French black copper marines, why do you need them? If you are going to breed, if you want Easter eggers, if you want olive eggers or chocolate egg layers, you need this bloodline or something very comparable. I'm sorry, mama. I'm sorry. Now, how do you know if you have a pure French black copper marine? Look at the characteristics. They'll have, oh, they'll have a regular red comb and wattles. They'll have the gold in the neck, solid black body, and then on their feet, and I can't get her in the camera, but I'll show you a picture here. Hey, Cooge. They always have black feathered feet. On the sides of their feet, it will be feathered. They must have that. Now, if they're out in the elements and they free range, they're not going to have huge, beautiful feathers, but they will have feathers on their legs. So be on the lookout for that. Otherwise, somebody might sell you a black Australop and you think that it's a French black copper Moran. So you need to make sure that they have certain characteristics. Also, Moran legs, if I can get her in the camera. Woo! She's muddy too. But see the feathers here on the side at the bottom of the camera? They've got that, but they have dark legs. They're black. So you want to look for that as well. They will not have yellow legs like regular chickens. 
they're great hearty chickens and again they can be dual purpose so if you need these for the meat then it's a good chicken i would not recommend something like leghorns that's very small so that's our overview on french black copper marines when you hatch these they will be dark they will be black and they will also have white to their chest that's a trademark color they won't come out solid black and they will grow into their plumage the older that they get they as far as the molt it's not excessively long um a couple months they do fine they really really do they're great foragers the feathers have not been a problem whatsoever on their feet a lot of people think that chickens with feathers on their feet have more trouble and that's usually so with bantams where they're small into the ground and they can get just mud clogs in the feathers but otherwise these morans are great so and they usually their temperament they're usually kind of the boss of the coop everybody listens out to these morans now they are the oldest but the wine dots and the morans are your ringleaders these hens run the show so roosters are great they've not been a problem to us they're not aggressive they're just happy roosters so that's all i can tell you about french black copper morans you need to get this breed if you are wanting to have easter eggers chocolate egg layers or olive eggers you need a pure dark chocolate breed this one i would recommend we've never had barnavel deers well summers we've never had anything like that i highly recommend these they're expensive when you buy these online they're very expensive um straight runs are usually starting at six dollars a piece that's expensive ordering chicks if you can find someone that has hatching eggs hatch them that's so much cheaper you can usually get hatching eggs off of these for 30 or 40 dollars and you'll be able to have your own flock and you can just breed over and over if they come from different parents and you can have your own bloodline here now this spring we're actually hatching more of these because we need new stock to go into our colored egg laying breeding program but i have no complaints with french black copper morans whatsoever all right guys just a little overview there we'll see you guys next time on Harmon homestead